I am so grateful to be here with our US founders, even if they were just with us virtually, they are family and so grateful for everything each and every one of them represent. I hope that you felt their hearts to really understand what it was like in 2008 when doTERRA was born and for us to lock arms with these beautiful humans to bring to the world something that didn't exist, certified pure therapeutic grade essential oils and to really have an understanding of how it impacts lives. We didn't have anything to stand on. As this, as this time began, we didn't have any marketing materials, we didn't have a website, we didn't have anything, not a product guide, we just had a few precious essential oils and a huge heart and a huge desire to go out and change the world with them. I love this quote and I feel like it's so relevant for where we are right now today. Glorify who you are today, do not contemn who you were yesterday and dream of who you can be tomorrow. I feel that so often we beat ourselves up for something that we haven't achieved yet or something we feel like we should have done better. But what we really need to do is to embrace who we are today, to embrace and celebrate everything that we have accomplished, all the beautiful gifts that each and every one of us have to offer. But I am so excited about this new Founders Club because of what it gives to us is a roadmap of what we have to look forward to. This gives us an opportunity to really get excited about going out and changing even more lives. So when you think about where we were in 2008, as Dave, Dave said our birthday was on April 25th, 2008, and I will forever remember that day as we gathered together in the Little America Hotel here in Utah. We had about 350 people that joined with us, and it felt so huge. And I remember as we found those first precious, precious oils, our belief level was through the roof. We knew that we could go out and change people's lives with these oils, with these gifts of the earth. People told us we were crazy because we'd leveraged everything we had. We took out equity lines from our homes so that we could start this dream. And people told us that we were foolish, that we were going to leave our families destitute because our company was surely going to fail before it even began. But yet we knew in our hearts that there was something that the world needed. That belief that we had lit a fire in others. As you just heard from our US founders, it lit a fire in them. And you could feel their conviction and their belief in knowing that they had found something special too. They didn't know the way forward. They didn't know exactly what it was gonna look like. They didn't have all the answers. And I think today they would tell you they still don't have all the answers. They're still figuring it out. But we're on this journey together. And it's your belief that people will be attracted to. It's your conviction that they want to be a part of. So are you that type of person that people want to come in and lock arms with you to go out and empower lives together? So as we introduce now the United States Founders Club 2.0, I want to tell you what this looks like because there, there is a business cycle that goes along with any business. I don't care whether you are Apple computers or whether you are Lululemon selling leggings. Every single company goes through a business cycle. doTERRA has gone through that same business cycle. So as we come up, right, and as we began in 2008, starting from zero with nothing, right, it took us just a little bit of time to get our bearings because we were out teaching from our hearts in every single home that would invite us in to tell them what these essential oils could do to change their lives. And it took us a little bit of time to gain that steam, but then we went into a hyper growth mode. Now you can see, as we came into some of those levels of maturity, right, as we came in, we had a few stumbling blocks that we incurred in 2015, 2016, but we had a, a recovery from that. And this phase um, that you see every company go in, right, as they go through that maturity phase now that we're in right now, either they go into return to growth or a lot of times this is where you see companies that will go public, they'll sell, do other things, they lose their soul, they lose their heart, and now they start to decline. And it's so important that you keep that why very, very strong. And I hope that you can feel from all of us that our why, our passion is just as strong as it ever has been. So here we are in maturity phase. Now, when the first US Founders Club began, they started at zero. 
right? Again, no marketing materials, no products to, to really offer outside of a few oils. We didn't even have lifelong vitality back then. And here we begin now with a new opportunity to grow to that next billion. So here we are as we come into, and we're seeing this already, right, as the return to growth phase that we're in. We just saw that in April. We had an amazing month in April. We saw that in March, an amazing month in March, and we'll continue to see that growth uh, come. As Dave said, we thrive in times of stress because we have solutions that people are desperately looking for. So when you compare where we were in 2008 to where we are today, Again, the only marketing materials we had back then was a blog, and that blog was hosted by Greg Cook, who has no marketing background. And to look back and, and think what was in there, it was, it, was, it was almost silly, right? But it was enough that people looked at that and they said, there's something here. I want to know what this is. Because of that blog, that's where Peter and, and Susie Bagwell, that's how they found us, right? And, and uh, continued to grow from there. But today, there's a lot lower risk, right? As people jumped in in the beginning, they didn't know if we were even going to make it. We were still working off of those equity lines that we had borrowed you know, off against our homes just to, just to get us through those first couple of years. Well, today, right, we're, we're a very robust company, eight million strong all around the world. The US only represents less than 50% of the company today. What a wonderful thing that so many lives have been empowered since the beginning. So you have all of the marketing tools. You have all of the business tools available to you. We have so many amazing wellness products that we have to offer that people have come to trust and rely upon to keep their body strong, to keep their emotional and mental well-being strong. Now, as we're coming through this maturity phase, we might see that we might not see that hyper growth phase as quickly as what we saw in those early days. However, Remember, we started with 25 strong leaders in the beginning. That's it. Look how many we have today. We have 20,000 people joining us just for this leadership uh, retreat session alone. So now you know that the potential to get to the second billion in the United States is going to go so much faster. Such a great potential to, to happen that way. All right, as we look at the United States Founders Club 2.0, let's see how you can be a part of that. When we first began the Founders Club in the United States, we had just 25 spots. Today, we're opening up 200 spots for that second billion in the United States. Now, you heard from Natalie and Burke Rigby, from Justin and the rest of the US founders that they are paying forward their 1% on that second billion. They're forgoing that forever. They're giving that to you because they want to raise up that next generation of leadership. And as I think about that, I get emotional just knowing the hearts of these amazing, beautiful people. We want to match their contribution to give a full 2% that can go into this pot to bless you. We want to bless you as you go out and bless the lives of other people because I want you to remember what your life looked like before doTERRA came into your life. What did it look like before you were empowered with these beautiful gifts of the earth, especially in a time like we're living right now, a time of uncertainty, where you need to make sure that you are peaceful, that you are calm, that you have every tool you need to make sure your body is taken care of to make sure your family is taken care of? What did your life look like before the doTERRA family and community came into your life? Because we truly are a family that supports one another. And to know that you are part of a cause that is so much bigger than you are. To know that you are blessing lives on the other side of the bottle all around the world. How does that feel? We want to bring more people into the doTERRA family, not only so we can bless more lives on the other side of the bottle, but so that they can be empowered just as you are today. For me, I have such a conviction and such a responsibility to share what I have and what I know with those that I love and with the rest of the world. And if we let our voices be heard, just imagine what the world can look like when people are given that hope 
and that confidence to know that they have what they need to take care of themselves. So that means as we look at the qualifications that I'm gonna share with you now, 90% of that volume will need to come from US accounts. We know that some of you have international teams, which is such a wonderful thing, but right now we are talking about the US. Now, we have many of our Canadian friends on with us, and you know I love you, so stay tuned because we have something coming soon just for you, Canada. So now, as we look at Founders Club 2.0 in detail, want to talk about what that looks like so that you can get prepared for this. There will be two ways to earn points. Now, our first Founders Club was based on just a rank, but now at the size of the company is today, we can do it rank-based. So we're going to do a point-based system that I think you're going to love. We've done so much modeling with this, and we feel that we have this perfected. So two ways to earn. Now, your target is going to be a total of 1,000 points. Once you hit 1,000 points for the very first time, you are a new US Founder 2.0. So as we look at this, we're going to look both at your personal points as well as team points in order to achieve this amazing accomplishment. So first, let's look at our personal points. So we look at personal points, want to look at our personal rank advancement. You're gonna get points for each time you rank advance. Now, you don't get points just the first time you rank advance. You can actually earn points for three different months. Now, some of you may say, what if I got to a higher rank, but maybe I haven't hit that rank for quite some time? If you haven't hit that rank from November 2019 forward, we're actually going to give you half points when you come back in and re-qualify at that higher rank. So let's talk about what that looks like. So as we look at how those points will be accumulated, we're going to start in April, and let's say you were qualifying as an elite in April. And now, as we start this Founders Club, right, it starts May 15th. I know many of you are saying, when does it start? May 15th, so get ready. So here we come into May, and you qualify at elite again. Of course, there will be no rank points because you haven't rank advanced. However, as you rank advanced to premier in June, that's where you get 25 points. You get another 25 points when, you, when, uh, when we come into July, but in July, you rank advance to silver. So that means you still get the points for at rank advancing to premier, and you're also picking up the points for achieving silver for the very first time. Now you hit silver again in August, you're going to pick up your third month worth of points at premier, your second month's worth of points at, uh, at silver. And now, in September, right, you're moving fast. You're sharing oils with everybody that you know, and you hit gold in September. Of course, convention month, right? What a great time to hit gold. So we're gonna give you all three months of silver, all three, all three months worth of points for Premier, and now you get your first month worth of points at gold. We don't want to hold anybody back from moving as quickly as they choose to. So that way, you don't have to sit and wait three months at Premier before you move on, and you can move at your own pace. So that would leave you with a two, total of 200 points uh, for doing that. Now, so now let's talk about what it looks like if you re-qualify for a rank that you haven't hit for six months. So let's say you're qualifying at Elite, but you previously had hit the rank of Premier before November. In that case, this is what the scenario would look like. So here we come into May with the, the start of Founders Club. You're still qualifying as Elite, so you're not gonna get any points there, but now you get back to Premier. Again, you haven't been there since November, so now we're gonna give you half points, at 12.5 points at Premier. We give you half points again in July, but now you've rank advanced to Silver. So we give you 30 points at Silver, we build again half your, your third month worth of half points, and then we continue to give your full points at silver and your full points at gold. So we want to make sure we're rewarding because it's a journey, right? Sometimes we get to that milestone, right? We're really excited about it, we celebrate, but things happen. Maybe not everyone has the same desire in their heart, right? And that's okay. 
we continue to move forward because there's so many people that need exactly what we have right now. And it's something that we're learning along the way. I've had so many people come to me who have gone back and rank and they're almost ashamed of it. They don't want people to know. And my response to them is, if you don't go through this, if you don't learn the lessons that you're supposed to learn as you go through the ranks, how in the world could you ever share with your teammates to say, I've been there. I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like when somebody calls me and says, you know what, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. It's not for me. It's okay, right? We move on because there's more people that want what we have and we learn something. Every single step along the way teaches us something and makes us stronger, makes us better, makes us softer in a way, in the way that we can be compassionate towards other people. Because if it came easy, everyone would do it. All right, so now let's talk about what if I rank advanced in April, right? Let's celebrate. We just finished the month of April. It was absolutely phenomenal. Highest record month ever. So what does that look like for you? If you had a rank advancement, or let's say it had been six months, and then you re-qualified the month of April, did you just forego all three months' worth of points? Now, I've got some good news for you. We won't give you the points for April, obviously, because we didn't start the Founders Club qualifications in April. However, you can still earn months two and months three worth of points if you maintain that rank and then you continue to grow from there. So we wanna make sure that we're able to celebrate your accomplishment and reward you uh, for continuing to do that. So now as we look at personal points, we also want to give you points for your personal enrollments. That's part of this business is we need to get outside of our comfort zone and go out and find those people that are looking for these oils in their life. So for each personal enrollment, we will give you one point. But as they come to appreciate the doTERRA lifestyle as you do, we will give you a point uh, for their LRP order months two and three. They don't need to be consecutive months. They could skip a month and then place an LRP order of 100 PV and we will still give you those, those points. So it's 100 PV enrollment order, 100 P PV LRP order, and you can get up to three points for an, each new member that joins. We have a minimum of 50 points, which means at a minimum, we anticipate it will take about 12 to 18 months uh, for all 200 spots to be filled. That means at a minimum, you should be enrolling at least two people a month. But if you really want a founder spot, you should be enrolling much more than that. And we'll talk about that in a little bit so that you can get an idea of what that looks like for you based on where you're at in your business. We will max that out at 300 points because a lot of people will say, well, what about those people that have a really strong online presence. They have tons of followers. It'll be easy for them to get tons of enrollments where maybe it's not so easy for you or for me. That's okay. We're going to max that out at 300 so that every single person has an equal opportunity, no matter where they are in their business model, to achieve this Founders Club. Um, so we want all of you to, to look at that and know that you can achieve it. Now, now let's talk about our team points. This is where I get really excited because I love moving people forward, right? I've got maximizers, my number two, so that is a thrill for me. So first of all, we're gonna start with those that you have personally enrolled and their personal rank advancement points. So as we look at what that looks like for you, it's gonna be very similar to what we looked at with your personal rank advancement points. Now this is for your team. Now this gets fun when you're focused on them, doesn't it? Because your rank advancement will naturally happen when you focus on helping your team achieve their goals. So you can see the points that we have starting at Elite and moving on down to Diamond. We figure once people get to Diamond, they're going, if, if they're gonna take it to Blue Diamond or Presidential Diamond, they usually don't need the help of their upline so much. So that's where we kind of draw the line and just giving points up to Diamond level to really support your, your downline. Again, you can get points for three months. So let's talk about what that looks like. You need a minimum of 300 points for your personally enrolled uh, team points here. 
rank advancement points. Now, we'll do the same. So when your team requalifies at a rank that they haven't hit since November of 2019, they, you will receive half points for them. Now let's hope that they are also going for a founder spot so that they get those personal rank advancement points for themselves. Now, as we look at, um, we also look at power of three. So this is a wonderful thing where people, we really created power of three as the bridge. So when you first start in the business, you're receiving fast start rewards. And then Unilevel, obviously, that's the granddaddy. We know that, but sometimes that takes a little while to really develop as you build depth within your team. So we knew that the power of three was the bridge between Fast Start and Unilevel, and it also teaches you how to structure perfectly for each rank. So we're gonna reward you as those that are personally enrolled to you receive their 250 power of three for the very first time. So we have a minimum of nine points you need to get here, but the sky's the limit. There's, there's no limitation on how many points you can receive here. We know that if you get three people on your front line who are personally enrolled to you, you're receiving the 250 power of three bonus. What does that mean for you? That's a 1,500 power of three bonus now to you. And what type of a difference does that make to your family's finances? Now you might wonder, usually you hear me talk all about the oils and how they're empowering, right? And how we can change our lives that way. But I get equally as excited about the business because if your finances are not taken care of, everything in your world is stressed. Your relationships, your emotional well-being, your physical well-being, everything is amiss. And we want you to look at the business that doTERRA has to offer as a wonderful product offering that doTERRA has. Don't leave that on the table. Each and every one of us have a responsibility to share these beautiful gifts with others. And I hope that you will come and join us in doing that. So now as we look at the Power of Three scenario, it looks something like this. So in April, you have someone who's personally enrolled to you who's receiving the $50 Power of Three bonus. As we start this new Founders Club program, they're still receiving the 50, so no points there. However, in June, they get the 250 Power of Three bonus for the first time. It's like, woo, you remember when you got that for the first time? So amazing. So that's a huge game changer. $250 is a game changer for so many families. Now, we go to the next month in July. I didn't quite get the 250. Someone canceled the, their LRP, something like that. It's okay, right? No points for that month. However, they can pick it up again in August, again in September. Again, if they skip a month, it's okay. You can still get three months worth of points. That gives you your minimum of nine points for your power of three uh, points. But we don't ever want you to focus on a minimum. If you're going for a Founders Club spot, go for the maximum, right? Shoot for the stars. Now, the empowerment bonus. You heard Corey Lindley talk about the enhancements to the, uh, to the empowerment bonus. We're so excited that we can do that to now give the, a raise to our goals as well. And all you have to do to partake of the empowerment bonus is to enroll one new member with a 100 PV order that month. Whether you're a premier, silver, or gold, what a wonderful thing that you can partake of. So that's over a $200 increase for premiers and silvers and over a $400 increase for golds. So we want people uh, that are personally enrolled to you to receive this bonus and for you to help them do that. So there's a minimum of three points in order to do that. Again, you get three points. So simply by getting one person to achieve that three times, you'll hit your minimum with a maximum of 300 points there. Now, Let's look at what that scenario might look like. It's very similar to what it looked like with the, uh, with the Power of Three bonus. So no empowerment bonus in April, no empowerment bonus in May, but now we pick it up in June. We don't pick it up in July, but we pick it up in August and again in September, giving you your total of three points. And isn't it wonderful for you to receive points for blessing the lives of others? It's an awesome, awesome thing. Now. We talked about belief when, when I first began. You need to see yourself as a United States founder 2.0. Can you see yourself there? 
Can you understand what that will mean to your family to have such a great reward that you get to share with 199 of your friends? They will become your best friends because what happens is you become a community. And we get to lock arms together. We get to strategize together and uh, see what that looks like. I met an amazing human being by the name of Kelsey Guerrera many leadership retreats ago. We had a contest at this leadership retreat and it was a text message contest where people were to text their friends and family to find out who was willing to host a doTERRA class for them. And those that received the, the highest number of points or responses were able to choose an owner to come to, uh, to a class with them or to a dinner, to show up at one of their parties. Kelsey came in second. And I remember her coming up in line and she was so, she was so determined yet felt so defeated that she fell in second place. And I was able to grab her arm and uh, really build a relationship with her. I was able to show up at one of her team parties and I think she had maybe about 10 people there. Uh, she was silver at the time and was just full of so much Hope. I just fell in love with her. I've been able to now connect with Kelsey many times as she won um, one of the Diamond Club sourcing spots. Uh, we were able to go to Oregon last year to, to be with our peppermint growers. And also she won the incentive trip for the very first time and was with us in Hawaii in January. So we went to Kelsey. We wanted to test this new program on, on some of our leaders to see what they thought about it to make sure that we were spot on with our point system and to make sure that it was something that would be motivating to them. So I'd like for you to now hear from Kelsey to know how she feels about this and how she plans to get one of those 200 spots. Hi, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kelsey Guerra and I am so honored and humbled to be with you today. And I am so grateful for the chance to get out of my pajamas and put some makeup on. <laughs> but I'm also here to show you today that you can become a founder. I am so excited about this program. Whether you just started, whether you've never ever won an incentive trip before, you can do this. I am sure your head is spinning right now. It's the last day of leadership. You've had a lot of information thrown at you. So I'm hoping that I can encourage you with a little bit of my own story and help you break things down into actionable steps. Opening up about my own mistakes and shortcomings and failures as a leader is not the easiest thing to do in front of thousands of people, but I am hoping that by being open and vulnerable with you guys, it will encourage you and show you that you really can do this. I have been a builder in doTERRA for about five years, and I'm pretty average when it comes to rank advancing. My team is probably rolling their eyes at that behind their screens at home, but I really am. It took me about 13 months to get to silver, another 10 to get to gold, and I hit platinum once, and all in all, it took me about three and a half years to get to diamond. Yay, that's so awesome, right? And then I hit gold, and then I went back to diamond, and then I'd go back to gold, and I sort of went back and forth like that for the last year and a half. So, Back in January this last year, I went to all kinds of trainings. I went to Back to Basics. I went to Hawaii and won the incentive trip for me and my husband. It was awesome. And then I went to Prague and that was all awesome, except that my team, I realized, was not strong enough for me to be gone that long. I had not built a strong enough foundation and my strategy of flinging spaghetti at the wall and hoping that it stuck was just not working anymore. And so in February this last year, unfortunately, I slid back to the rank of silver. It was a really low point for me. And unfortunately, I really felt a huge sense of failure. I felt like I had failed myself as a leader. I felt like I had failed my team. And I ultimately felt like I had failed my family too because we had really come to rely on doTERRA as an income. And so I had to come to my husband and say, listen, this is going to be a really rough month for us. And I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make this up. And he was so encouraging and I'm so grateful for that. But I was in a really dark place that day at the end of February. And then the next day I got an email and it was from Prime Wellness Club. 
they told me I had won a spot in the top 200 of Prime Wellness Founders Club. And the check that I got for that bonus made up almost to the penny the amount that I was missing in my income from a silver to a diamond. That moment was so incredible for me and it built such a huge belief in these types of founders programs, incentive trips and diamond clubs and all of these things that doTERRA has to offer and I vowed to tell everyone how valuable these programs are. I tell you that because what ends up happening is that once you figure these out, once you really get into them and go all in with these programs, winning becomes really addictive. It's so much fun. You discover that it's real. It's a real thing. And then you go, why didn't I do this before? How come this took me so long to figure out? Incentive trips and diamond clubs, those are regular things that come around in doTERRA, but a founders club? That is a rare thing. And so I just want to encourage you, take it from me. It is worth figuring out. And on that note, it took me a long time to figure out how to qualify for the incentive trip. I just could never figure out the point system. And I would sit there at leadership and they announce where they were going. And I would think, oh, I want that so bad, but I cannot figure out how to do this. I would even get a postcard that said, congratulations, you're in qualification. And I would just look at that and go, that's so awesome. I have no idea what that <laughs> means. And so, Diamond Club came around and I did that twice. And so I got used to that point system and I thought after the second time, Kelsey, you have to figure this out. If you can't explain it to your own team, how are you gonna encourage them to do it too? If somebody comes up to you and asks you how this works, you won't know what to say. So I vowed to sit down and figure it out. And it was like a light bulb turned on. I just kept tracking everything and I called my upline Alexa, I'm like, girl, I'm just doing the things I normally do. I'm just being super intentional and tracking it and it's working and I'm figuring this out and it's fun and I think I'm gonna keep going. And so I was in the top 300 and I kept pushing and then I ended up in the top 200. I won a spot for my husband and I to go to Hawaii and it was a game changer. I will never not go on an incentive trip again. But because of that, I had gotten a really good head start in Founders Club in Prime Wellness. And so I just kept going and once it's just, it cut keeps going and going and it was so encouraging. Then I was asked by doTERRA to help explain to you guys how this was going to work and encourage you and really show you how you can qualify for this. And my first thought was to you premiers and silvers who have probably qualified for leadership retreat for the first time ever. And you may still be sitting there thinking, ah, that's not for me. That's for bulldozer wellness advocates. That's for the social media influencers because they've got all the people. That's for people in higher ranks than me. But doTERRA came up with this amazing system. And if you figure it out, you can take advantage of it wherever you're at. The thing is, guys, it's not who can enroll the most people because fast starts is not the best part of our compensation plan. As a diamond, I have finally been able to experience the best part of our compensation plan, building unilevel, rank advancements, and our leadership pools is what happens when you rank advance to silver and above, and it's so exciting. Empowerment bonuses, that's what this program really helps you build a strong foundation, which will keep building your residual unilevel income. And I want you to know that the reason I'm standing in front of you today was that I was not about to let my rank slips be the end of my story. Since February, I have begun to build a stronger team. And the reason I'm so excited about Founders Club is that it's going to help support that. It's going to help support my teams and my builders grow stronger. So I want to give you a few things to think about. First, whenever we're approaching something that's a little scary, feels a little out of reach, I want you to think of two things. One, what is the worst case scenario that could possibly happen? And two, what are the natural consequences of taking action? So what's the worst case scenario? If we go all in for 12 to 24 months and we build and we do all the things that Founders Club gives us points for, if we build towards that, what's the worst thing? We don't become founders? Okay, well, then what are the natural consequences of that? 
you are going to grow exponentially. Grow your teams. Be a support for your leaders. Help people rank advance. Get their power of three and empowerment bonuses. You will be growing your unilevel, a more sustainable residual income. You will be an incredible leader, an example for your teams. You'll grow confidence in yourself, in your teams, and building belief matters. It's really important. Let me get a few things out of the way right here. You may be still sitting there thinking, I don't know, I still have a few mental blocks. You may be thinking, well, Blues and Presidentials, they're doing this too, they're in the running, how am I supposed to compete with that? They're gonna be way ahead of me. But that's simply not true. If you're just getting started today and you wanna take this and run with it, if you wanna go platinum or diamond in a year, you can do that on part-time hours and collect all those points. Blues and Presidentials have a little bit more challenge when it comes to rank advancing. They can help people, and yes, they do have more experience in helping people rank advance, mentoring and strategy. They're very good at that because they have the experience. But what you have is very special. There is something magical about finding people to run with and linking arms together and telling someone, listen, I'm doing this and I'm really excited about it. Would you come along with me? Would you partner with me? And I'll do this with you. We can do this together. You may be thinking, well, I don't have anybody to run with. I don't have C's or CC's. Guys, we have two weeks. You can just get a jump start on this right now. Go out there, be bold, decide to be brave and push past your comfort zones to make an incredible impact on your own business and your finances. This is a chance of a lifetime. Okay, so I just wanna give you a few actionable items to leave with today. First, I want you to make a plan, map it out, look at the point system, see where you're at right now, where you think you can be in a year, because a year is enough time where we can make a goal without getting overwhelmed. So take a year, take 12 months and say, this is where I am, this is where I can feasibly get to, and where are we missing? Where are my gaps? What points do I need to get me myself over the line? Or if I have that extra time, what else can I do? Where can I get to? Second, take inventory of your entire organization right now. Now, if you are brand new, that's okay. You don't have much to work with, so you have a clean slate. That's great. Find those people for the next two weeks that you wanna work with for the next year and beyond. If you are like me, you may have up to five or more organizations, like giant organizations to work with. So I wanna tell you how I'm organizing mine and what I'm looking for. First, I'm gonna be looking at my C's and my CC's. Who are my builders, my true builders right now who I can mentor and strategize with? Who might also want to go for Founders Club? And who can I have those crucial conversations with to map it out and strategize? Then I'm gonna be looking for my sharers. Now, this is really important because sharers may not wanna go for Founders Club. They may not even really want to rank advance that much, but sharers can naturally rank advance because they're really good at sharing, hopefully. And so sharers tend to get to an elite or even premier level, which really helps you. So definitely don't discount the sharers on your team. Who are they? And you know what else? Sharers can be really easily incentivized, whether it's products or whatever. Just figure out what motivates them, what gets them excited, and try to incentivize them so that they can support your volume. And thirdly, what I'm looking for is actually not my current customers, because I know how to take care of my current customers, but anyone in my organization who has become disengaged, whether it's a disengaged customer who got shoved under the rug, oops, on my part, maybe I wanna do a redo wellness consult with that person, or if it's a disengaged leader, for whatever reason, it wasn't their time, they dropped off, maybe it was my own fault, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna just apologize, or I'm gonna do what it takes to do to say, hey, if you still want this, I'm with you. And so see what you can do, see if you can reignite a fire. And that is great because what happens is you have that volume there, it's already there for you. Go back and get it back. That can create a lot of volume in places where you need it. Okay, final point is accountability. We have to have accountability with this. Find a mentor, find someone you can be accountable to. It doesn't really matter who, and it doesn't really matter how. Just figure out what's gonna work best for you. Reach way up if you have to, dig deep, reach out to a sidelines, whoever you can find, and find out what 
you need to keep yourself accountable to your goals for the next year or more. Okay, let's wrap it up. What are the three things you can do right now? Map it out. Go talk to your upline or your mentor and see if this is right for you, if it aligns with your goals, and then have those crucial conversations with your leaders and qualifiers. Two, make a strategy for the next 12 months and find a duplication system that works for your team. Make it a good one, back to basics, whatever it is, just decide on that duplication system and implement it immediately. And finally, just go for it. Just try it. The natural consequences are that you're going to be building a great foundation for your team. And most importantly, you're going to grow so much belief in your team, this company, and yourself as a leader. In the end, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So write the story that you want to write for yourself. We are the next generation in doTERRA as leaders. It's our turn. It's our time. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Isn't her energy absolutely infectious? I just adore her. So now as you know, she's going for one of the spots. You need to see yourself as getting one of those other 199 spots. So some of you may say, I'm just beginning in doTERRA. There's no way I can catch up to somebody that's a diamond or a blue diamond or even a silver. Or maybe you're a silver saying, there's no way I can compete with a diamond. We, through our modeling, we made sure that every single person, no matter where you are in your doTERRA journey, had an equal opportunity to achieve this, that there was no advantage no matter what rank you're at. So I want to show you some different scenarios so that you can see that that is absolutely true. So first, we're gonna start with someone who is currently a gold rank and they're taking themselves up to diamond. So you can see at gold, you need to pick up an additional leg, but those, uh, those premier legs also need to advance to silver in order for you to achieve the rank of diamond. So you're gonna get rank points all along the way there. Of course, with four legs, we want all four leaders uh, that you're personally enrolled to you to get their power of three bonus. So you get points there, you get points with the empowerment bonus, but also you're gonna get points for your personal enrollments. Now you might look at these numbers and say, oh my goodness, 45 and 22, that's astronomical. I could never do that. But let's break it down month by month. Now we just broke it down into a 12 month cycle, but most likely this will last about 18 months. But this means that you are enrolling four to six people a month. And we want to retain the majority of them and getting them on LRP. When you break it down, it doesn't seem so hard, does it? And so now you break it down even further, that's one to two people that are joining your team each week that you have personally enrolled. So can you make a commitment to go out and, and change someone's life every single week? I think we can do that. So once you get to that thousand points, right, you're in. You are a US founder. So let's look at some other scenarios and break those down. So let's say you are brand new to doTERRA because you want to use this program to go out and recruit new people, right? Of course, give them that wonderful opportunity that all of our original US founders have. Now, we know as they first come into doTERRA as a brand new person, most of their points are going to come from personal enrollments. Now, you'll get some points from, from team uh, points as well, but you're also gonna get significant points from your personal rank advancement points. So this is a new person starting at zero and taking themselves up to platinum level, as you can see where each of those points came from their team rank uh, advancement points as well as their own. So what a wonderful way uh, for someone to come in and have something to work towards, to have something to believe in, to know that they can change their family circumstances. Millions of people are filing for unemployment right now in the United States. This is a scary time. Families are uncertain, and you have an olive branch right now in front of you that you can reach out to them and help them and give them that hope that they desperately need. So now let's look at, uh, for those of you who are silver rank, we'll go from silver to platinum. And what does that look like, right? As you grow your team, you're now taking uh, your elite legs and we're growing them. 
right? We need to get those elite legs to silver, so you're gonna get points all along the way as you do that. And of course, we wanna make sure we're getting power of three points, as well as empowerment bonus points. And now as we break down what your personal enrollment points look like, right? As you add that up, for a person silver going to, to platinum, that means you're looking at about eight to 10 enrollments per month for a 12 month period. So you break that down by week, and now all of a sudden, it doesn't feel so scary. And then you get your rank advancement points when you go from gold to platinum. So you're at 1,000 points, and you are US Founder 2.0. So let's look at another scenario. Let's say you are a big, bad diamond, right? Something that so many people look up to and say, wow, I wish I, I, wish I could achieve that. But maybe a diamond is saying, I don't have the same opportunity that a brand new person does. Well, as you take yourself from diamond to blue diamond, we're going from four silver legs to five gold legs now. You're gonna get all of those rank advancement points from your team, as well as the power of three points, the empowerment bonus points. Now, you're not going to be enrolling as many people as a newer person would, right? Because your, your focus starts to shift as you're helping to take care of your team. So now we're looking at three to four enrollments per month in order to achieve this. So that's really one person a week that you're enrolling. And of course you can get even more points there, but that's, that's kind of what we focused on. And then of course when you get those bigger points, when you rank, rank advanced to Blue Diamond, that's where it rings true to you as we now bring you in as a US founder. So let's also talk a little bit about synergy. You might say, oh my goodness, there's so many good things going on in doTERRA. I don't know what to focus on. We've taken that all into account because we want there to be synergy in every initiative that we roll out and everything we do is to help you and we want to help you bless as many lives as possible. So we look at the synergy, we have a diamond club that started in March. It's absolutely phenomenal. We have more participants than ever, and we absolutely love it. You had to pivot fast, didn't you? Because just as we started diamond club, this is where mass gatherings were shut down. You couldn't have your home classes anymore. We're so proud of you for really looking at your, your businesses differently and finding a way to connect with human beings, finding a way to reach out to people and, and let them know that they're not alone. Let them have those essential oil experiences and getting all that goodness into their hands. We just introduced an incentive trip. Those of you that know me, you know I love, love, love to go to Mexico. This is a brand spanking new resort that we get to go to and it's just the doTERRA family there. No one else will be there with us. That means we get to choose what type of menu we have. We get to have all the good stuff, all the good food. We get to have beach volleyball again. We missed that in Hawaii. So I'm really excited to bring that back. And you know that no matter where you go, you're gonna have a friend in doTERRA that is there with you. So it'll be a safe place whether you're coming alone or whether you're coming with your spouse or a friend, we'll all be there as a doTERRA family. So when you look at Diamond Club, right, as you are now out developing new leaders, you're developing new elites, you're developing new premiers, you're developing new silvers, what a wonderful opportunity to help them focus in on Incentive Trip because it's focused on enrollments and LRP. And of course, as we're doing that, that's also building, right? As, as we're doing that, that, they're gonna grow into silvers and golds and platinums and diamonds as they're doing this. And now they're tapping into all of that goodness, all of those, those points that are available through the Founders Club 2.0. So you can see how they all layer upon one another. There's nothing that is not harmonic with one another. So if you're, you're building towards Incentive Trip, you're also building towards Founders Club. You're building in Diamond Club, you're also building towards Incentive Trip as well as the Founders Club. We want everything to be synergistic that way. We brought this new Founders Club together because we want to raise up that next generation of leaders and really maybe dangle that little carrot that gives you the inspiration to really rise up to stop playing small and to really step into the potential that lives inside of you. Because too often in this world, we get comfortable and we play much smaller than what we're designed to be. 
I think if you are feeling something right here in your heart right now, that's your soul speaking to you. And it's saying, this is for you. You can do this. You heard these US founders just speak. Did you hear any of them talk about the fancy cars they drive or the big houses that they live in or the luxurious trips that they go on? You didn't hear one of them talk about those things. What you heard them talk about was the ability to give back to humanity, was the freedom that they have to make their own choices and decisions, to have someone like Nicole and Danny Larson, whose daughter is in the hospital right now, have the ability to be home with their family and to be able to focus on them and at the same time for them to be living their purpose as they are serving others and helping them rise up and become the person they are meant to be. That's what it means to be a US founder. And so I invite each and every one of you, I hope that you can see yourself here, blessing the lives of people right along with us. We have a great work to do. We're just getting started. Our vision is bigger than it ever has been. So will you join us in this cause? I love you so very much and so very excited about this. And now it is my great pleasure to bring back up our master distributor, one of my favorite people in the entire world, a man without guile, a man who serves constantly who represents each and every one of you. So if you can please welcome back Justin Harrison. <laughs>